Up next on Line TV, Paige Reynolds takes a look inside the club here on campus, Charity Sanders with a story on the effects of beauty products have on society, and me, Anna Calkins, covering the challenges Westside teachers have faced this year. These stories up ahead. Lion TV starts now. Cersei Hi, I'm Anna Calkins. And I'm Landon Marino. We are back with another episode of Line TV. First up, Anna has a story about the effects COVID has had on teachers in the lower grades. Yes, COVID-19 has changed a lot of people's lives and their daily routines, especially during school. We know about how Cersei High has changed within the past year, but what about the other two grades? We talked to two teachers at Westside Elementary for their input on this crazy year. It has been a lot different. We have a class in class with us every day and then we also have a class with us virtual every day and we have to make sure we have lessons for both classes and try to interact with our kids um, virtually and with our kids here in class. Yes, we are. It's been a total flip and um, this year has been um, totally different because technology has been everything. And so um, almost everything was done through Chromebooks um, and not so much paper and pencil, and that was a big shift for everybody. There's been many difficult changes within the past year, but what are some of them? Definitely a lot more challenging. We had to change um, lesson plans and fun activities that we did to still try to make it fun for our students. Um, even though we had to social distance and had to have them separated. Um, that was a challenge. Another challenge was um, being able to interact with our virtual students and um, make sure to turn every lesson into something virtual as well as recording all of our lessons. So yes, it was a lot more challenging. Technology has advanced over the past few years. Some of the teachers have to adapt to the new way of learning due to the circumstances of COVID-19. I'm older in age and I've been teaching longer and we didn't we didn't teach with all the technology and all and so and we immediately had to shift to just using the technology and so I had a big learning curve so uh, the first three months of school were really rough for me and um, uh, I had to get it together. <laughs> The past two years have been a wild ride, but thanks to technology, we have adapted to our new way of learning. It sure has been a crazy year, but now let's talk about beauty. Agreed. Charity has a story about the effects of beauty products. Let's hear it, Charity. Beauty products have an impact on teens and their lives from all over the world. These products are used from changing appearances to having a negative impact on lives today. So the real question is, are beauty products negative or positive? I think that they can be positive and negative. It depends upon how you use them. Um, if you choose to use them because you want to, they have a positive impact. But if you feel that you have to use them um, because everyone else is using them and you feel like you're less of a person or you're not as pretty because um, if you don't use them, then they have a negative impact on you. Not everyone wears these products on a daily basis for certain reasons, and even some are not a fan of what Miss Crystal thinks is unfashionable. I do not wear beauty products every single day because I do not wake up early enough to put them on every single day. Most teens wear like foundation, concealer, eyeliner, all that stuff, and I usually just wear mascara because I don't like having all that stuff on my face. There'll be a time when those are like eyeliner tattooed on will be unfashionable and then you'll have tattooed eyeliner um, so I'm not a big fan of things like that or that I think some people have lip liner tattooed on so I'm not a fan of anything that's like permanent. Mascara because it is a life changer like 
I don't have any mascara on right now, but when I do, it looks so much better. Products can be an obsession if you let them, and even cost you tons of money every day. Um, I think if you become obsessed with beauty products and makeup, if you won't go out of your house without putting on tons of makeup, or you spend, um, you know, hours uh, trying to change your appearance or you become unhappy with how you look unless you put your eyelashes on or your lipstick then um, you know you're kind of sliding over the line into um, into a negative impact for beauty products also if it negatively affects your budget uh, if you're spending more on your products than uh, is reasonable in your budget um, I also think anything that affects your health, um, a lot of products um, that have been used in the past, we later find out are unhealthy. And um, you know, I don't think that we should feel we have to endanger our health to look a certain way. I also think that we should put um, on makeup or um, for ourselves, not for somebody else. Um, you know. If we're not happy with ourselves, nobody's going to be happy with us. Beauty products do have an impact on life, but not everyone has the same taste in beauty products and even so prefer not to wear them. Back to you guys. Thank you for that great story. I second that. I just want to know what's for lunch. Lucky for you, today we'll be having biscuit, scrambled eggs, cream gravy, jelly, sausage patty, tater tots, ketchup, green pepper strips, assorted juice, milk variety, and peaches. That sounds great. Don't forget to thank our fabulous lunch ladies for all their hard work. That's right, Anna. There are many clubs here at SHS, but there's one club you might want to consider joining. Paige Reynolds, look into the benefits of FBLA. You may be wondering what clubs we have here at Cersei High School. Well, we have many. Out of all the clubs, let's look at one club in particular. It stands for Future Business Leaders of America, as you can see by my banner back here. FBLA is a competitive business study club. There are multiple competitions to go to throughout the year. It's the, the main focus of FBLA is the students learn about business. One of the major focuses is the student will pick a competitive area and they will study that. And it may not be a, a class that's taught at the high school because uh, there are dozens of different competitive events in FBLA and um, they will compete at a district level. And FBLA does different things throughout the year, such as competitions and fundraisers. Some of the things we do in FBLA are we do certain drives like other like, uh, clubs do, like the canned food drives, and then we also have a competition that we do. It's a more major one throughout the year. and. <sighs> We just finished the district level one, and we also just um, did our state level one. So the district results came out, and a lot of us placed. We did really good overall as a club, and so now we're hoping th um, to do the same in the state level. If you were wondering if you should join FBLA, here is what advisor Mrs. Acreage and student Hadia Childery would say. I would say give it some thought. Um, uh, there's so many jobs out there that involve business um, that just knowing a little bit more about some of the jobs that are out there and some of the um, skills, the skill sets needed, that's what we, we learn about in FBLA. Um, students, like I said, they'll pick a competition, an area. They may not know a lot about it, but they learn about it, and then they meet other students, and a lot of them have made friends that they know from other schools. So I would highly recommend considering FBLA. If somebody asked me if they should be in FBLA, I would most likely encourage them to be in the club because being in school-sponsored clubs really gives you a good experience and feel for participating in things like that, keeping up with the meetings and being responsible, and specifically FBLA, we do a lot in there Especially, I see that because even in these difficult times of COVID, we've kept up our work. We've all, you know, been on top of things, and our sponsor has been so helpful with everything, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, and for most people, I would definitely recommend the club. This club seems like a fun and challenging club to be in. So if you are interested in business, you should join FBLA. Back to you at the news desk. Wow, thanks, Paige. That seems like an interesting club. For a list of clubs here on campus, go to either office and see what club you might be interested in.
And I believe that's everything we have today for Lion TV. Sadly, but surely. But if you ever miss an episode of Lion TV, be sure to go to our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV and don't forget to subscribe. And to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Stay tuned for more episodes of Lion TV Cersei. And again, I'm Landon Marino. And I'm Anna Calkins. See you later, Cersei, and have an amazing day.